was so stocked, but, um, you know, it was, and, uh, it was a good excuse for me to buy stuff, and all I think I saw, oh, yep, we got a legendary foil, that's kind of cool looking, one of the reasons I'm buying Strixhaven right now, because I, you know, I bought a fat pack, and a few others, the, the one thing that I keep going back for at this point is, um, I really want a, uh, Teferi's Protection, I think that's the name of the card, um, which is one of the, the historic, quote-unquote, cards that they have in, in this set, um, and it's like a 30 or so dollar card, um, so I've bought more Strixhaven than I probably would have otherwise. Just kind of hoping to get that historic card. What I'll probably do is, this will probably be the last few boosters of Strixhaven I buy. Because I have bought so many. And the, in the world of Strixhaven, I don't have an issue with it, but it's not my favorite. stop buying these and just, you know, bite the bullet and buy the $30 card. Um, it's weird. Um, I like it when they're rhinos and weird like elephants. <laughs> That's just me. Um, so let's see what the it's a Cultivate, which isn't a bad card, but it's not what I was looking for. And let's see, Killian Ink Duelist, I don't have this one. Let's see. No, that's not bad. I mean, for two, Life Link and Menace and Spells you cast that target a creature cost two less to cast. So, um, yeah, not a bad card, honestly. these aside, I have a, the, yeah, these two boxes are, actually have the Forgotten Realms and my most recent, um, booster pack openings, because so recently I finally took the time over a weekend to, because um, I had about, I don't know, 50 of these freaking, It was literally, you know, there wasn't any rhyme or reason. Everything was just uh, all over the stuff. It's kind of interesting. Uh, it was kind of all over the place. And um, I took the time over the weekend to put them in colors. So now I have all the whites in boxes together so that I can, really, just so I can put decks together a little bit easier, you know, than going through every single box. It's like, okay, I'm making white and green deck, so I only need to go through these 15 boxes instead of all 50 to find every single white and green card. So, um, these two boxes have the, the stuff that hasn't, uh, no, there's not enough, say, blue or black to fill a whole box yet, so this is where these, uh, the newer cards are going. Some of these cards I only know from the, because uh, I mean I haven't played with all of them, but uh, one thing I've been playing recently is the, um, the Magic the Gathering Puzzle Quest game on, uh, on the cell phone. I just happened to download it when my wife had an appointment and I was bored. And um, basically you, you get cards and you put together a 10 card deck. And then instead of mana, you're, you know, you're matching colors, kind of like Candy Crush for, for mana to cast these spells. And you're playing as a planeswalker. So, um, I've been playing a lot of that recently. Um, just for the heck of it, you know. <laughs> Snow day, that's kind of cute. Um, but anyway, some of these cards I know from, from that game and, st and stuff does things differently in that game, because... You know, like I said, there's only 10 cards in your deck. You're just going through the same 10 cards. And also, um, 
like some of the abilities are different.
So I think that is it for today, guys. Um, I think last time I said I, I got like three issues in my save for this week. It was a little bit more robust, but um, you know, I might take time if you know if if I get a uh, a really slim week. I, I don't want to have you guys sit through a video just to show you three books. So um, you know, as as there's more issues, I'll do more freaking videos, and if there's a week where there's nothing, I'll just hold on to stuff, so, um, that was it for today, guys.